Well, hello my fellow YouTubers. This is J956 out of the 956 Hario. What I got here is a 1995 Mercury Cougar 4.6 liter with a V8. And for the past two months or so, I've been having a stalling, bucking, backfiring issue. And I replaced the fuel filter, the spark plugs. Uh, let's see, what else did I replace? Uh, exhaust. Mm, I've cleaned the coil packs. Um, I got good boots on my spark plugs. It's getting gas. And for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what's wrong with it until I actually took it to an auto part, a local auto parts store here. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to get, uh, I don't want to get in trouble for mentioning their name, but well, anyways, to make a long story short, this is what I did so far. See that little piece hanging down right there? That's the AC compressor. Your crankshaft position sensor sits right next to it. And I've seen some uh, some people asking, well, you know, how do you get it off without taking the torch to it or, you know, without tearing your car up? Well, it's real. Well, it's not simple. It's hard, but it's a simple solution. You just got to drop your AC compressor, move it to the side, and your crankshaft position sensor goes in here. And it's fairly long. It's about the size of the, the handle of the screwdriver. Get it right here. It's this part right here. This part, this sensor sets in the motor like this and it's real long. So I was having a hard time myself until I called a buddy of mine to help me. And we actually dropped. Don't take the don't take the pulley off the AC compressor. You have to just take the whole compressor off itself and move it down at an angle. And then you wiggle it out and you wiggle it out this way. You only need one, one nine millimeter bolt, I believe. It's eight or a nine. I can't remember. I think it's a nine. But yeah, as soon as you take it off, I mean, she slides right out. And of course, you got to recheck your wiring harness right here. Uh, make sure it's nice and clean because when I got it, it was all gunked up and it, it just wasn't operable. So my buddy, he redid it for me. Uh, you're going to have to have a torque bar because you're going to need to take the serpentine belt off. Uh, you got to take it off anyways, just to make sure, uh, everything's running correctly. Like everything's lined up. Mm. If you want to know more, uh, if you need some help, if you need some guidance, just shoot me a message and uh, I'll inbox you. Uh, oh, and you have to take off the, f the fan shroud. You have to take off the fan shroud. That's what I did as well. I took off the fan shroud. Those were two, those were two 10 millimeter bolts to take those off. And you have to disconnect it, obviously. You have to take the top of your radiator, your top radiator hose off right here. I just took the... Uh, the throttle body assembly, the the top, the airflow, the mass airflow sensor, I took that off just, just in case. Um, but if I can help in any way, if this video helps, you know, just shoot me a like or a thumbs up or shoot me a comment. Um, but for those of you who are having a problem for a 4.6 liter V8, I don't know if it goes for all models. But I know for from 90 to 97, the Mercury Cougar, it has the same 4.6 liter V8. And on the top is your camshaft. I don't know if you guys could see it or not. Where is it? Oh, shit, I saw it earlier. Well, I can't find it right now. I'm not too worried about it because that's not the one that's messing up. But your camshaft and your crankshaft does almost the same thing. But you, if you're having a stalling issue or it's not turning on or when you come to a stop sign like it just comes to a dead stop or it's bucking, chances are it's your crank position. Or if you're getting a code P0340, it'll read the camshaft but it also goes for the crankshaft. 
So you might want to double check that because all that oil gets on there. Uh, if you had a bad water pump, you know it'll short out your it'll short out your uh, crankshaft position sensor. Uh, so just holler at me if you need any help.